I got a message from an Air Force veteran who just left active duty after eight years. He asked, how can I buy a business as a veteran? Are there any special programs available to me? And the answer is yes, there are some special programs and incentives that are available to you as a veteran. However, they are mostly things that are offered by individual banks, private companies, and franchises. And I'll show you some of these programs in this video. What you don't have, what I think the, the point of your question is, is, is there some sort of special SBA loan? A lot of veterans assume that because there's a VA loan for buying a home, that there must be some special business buying loan. Unfortunately, there is not one. But that said, there are a lot of banks and lenders who like to lend to veterans. Being a veteran for these banks is a plus. As one example, I was in the process of getting funding for an acquisition last year, and I got turned down for the SBA loan for this particular business by several banks before I ran into one where the banker was himself an Air Force veteran. So he understood the management experience that I had as a Marine officer in a way that non-vets might not appreciate. And he qualified me for the loan. It was great. So the other thing that you have available to you as a veteran are grants from various foundations and companies. Here is one such page I found that was recently published and it has quite a few of these options for you. This is from nerdwallet.com and the article is called 16 Small Business Grants for Veterans. I'll put all of this in the description so you can find these links. And some of these are for people that want to start a new business, but some of them are for existing businesses. So not all of these are relevant for acquisition, but just be aware that these are out there. And some of them are for, if you read these, Rising Warriors, a nonprofit that helps veterans transition to veterpreneurs. The organization runs a six-step business development program that includes training, coaching, mentoring, and networking. So pretty cool. This one does $1,000 micro grants to 25 different veterans. This one's for existing businesses that have between two and 50 people. And there's one on here, Michigan Veteran Entrepreneur Lab, Texas Women's University. So some of them are even subcategories of veterans, minorities, women, et cetera. So yeah, see what's available to you. There's all sorts of programs out there. Venmo Small Business Grant, a lot of options as far as that's concerned. Now, this reminds me, the Texas and the Michigan ones, there's a lot of state-specific stuff. So obviously, I'm not up to date on all 50 states and what every state offers. But I can tell you, I lived in Texas most recently, and Texas has the Veterans Commission, tvc.texas.gov, and they have a large number of resources for veterans and some really good ones. They have workshops periodically where you can go learn a certain skill, you can do networking, they have different incubator type of programs, and then they can give you a verification letter, like you know, one of these veteran-owned business badges to put on your website, your email, that type of thing. Now, the really cool thing, the best benefit that Texas gives you is down here. Can a veteran start a business for free? And here's what it says. If you're a veteran with an honorable or general under honorable discharge from the U.S. military, starting a new 100% veteran owned business between January 1st, 2022 and December 31st, 2025, you may qualify for a veteran verification letter which waives the Secretary of State registration fees and certain taxes for the first five years of business. So that's pretty nice. It's not giant. I mean, it's registering your business in any state is 100 to, I think, 300 or $400 on the high end, but pretty cool. Just one, one more layer of friction and expense that you won't have as a veteran. If you're in Texas, you have this. If you're in any other state, check it out. You might have something in your your particular state. One other thing they offer is connect with a business consultant. You can sign up to have a conversation with a business consultant that's from this organization. And I did that last year when I was living in Texas. And it was great. He put me in touch with professionals. He put me in touch with a CPA, an attorney, different people that I needed to talk to at the time, and just answered a bunch of questions for me. So see if that exists in your state, if there's any sort of free consulting. And if there's not, I'm gonna show you the SBA one in a moment. On the FBA side, which is just sba.gov, they have a veteran-owned business page 
And again, there's no special SBA loan for vets, but they do have a few different programs available to you. For example, the boots to business. I actually took this when I was separating from the military. It was an, it was an option, an elective course that you can take, but you can also take this as a veteran once you're completely out of the military. There's different women veteran entrepreneurship training programs, service disabled veteran entrepreneurship training program. So these things are available to you as well. Check them out. So at the bottom, they have need help, get free business counseling. It's free. Try it. Get, run your business idea by somebody else. Have them look over the business you're considering buying. Ask them for recommendations of people you can meet in your area. Whatever it is, it can only help you. Highly recommend that. The SBA is a tremendous resource. And there's a lot of free articles and, and different things that you can read and learn on their website. Now, the last thing I want to show you is vetfran.org, V-E-T-F-R-A-N. Vetfran stands for Veteran Franchise. And on this site, you can search through 468 different franchise companies that are looking to expand throughout the country. These are all companies that have offered to waive a part of their franchising fee by a minimum of 10%. And some of these waive it completely, 100%. All you do when you come to vetfran.org is click view all opportunities and then you add your parameters what in what industry are you looking in or you can just do a browse just leave these blank what price range do you have to invest etc you can type in all your parameters and hit search it shows us all the franchises that are available to us and you can see here it says the vetfran directory lists all of our members who offer discounts to veterans as well as meet other quality criteria all of our members have clean audit reports and a discount on their initial franchise fee ranging from 10 to 100%. Many offer additional benefits. You will notice our members are divided into three categories, one star, three star, and five star members. Each tier requires more stringent criteria to qualify, including a higher discount, more years in business, more years in franchising, and at the top level, a high continuity rate for their franchise locations. So check this out if you're interested in franchising. As you can see, it's got the name of the company, and then it's got the star rating that it has, one, one, three, or five stars, depending on, again, the criteria. And you can read more about that on their site. But one thing I should note is it said you can reduce the franchise fee completely by 100%. Now, I should point out, if it's not obvious, that that doesn't mean it's a free business. You still have to do the build out of the location. You'd have to pay for the training to go to the corporate location, get your training. You have to pay your franchise royalties and all the other fees associated with the franchise. I don't love most franchises. I think in most cases, you're better off buying an independent business, but I can't deny that franchises have statistically higher success rates. They're less likely to fail than a startup. So keep that in mind. Give this video a like if you learned something. And if you know of any other veteran resources for veterans looking to buy businesses that can benefit the viewers, please share that in the comments. Okay, bye-bye.